Holy crap, guys! It's here. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Couldn't even fix my hair. I just, I just had. I, 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 I'm speechless. You got, you got to check this out. What is up, guys? My name is Mark Sanrio. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog, guys. The wait is over. I got the car that everyone's been waiting for. Check this thing out. Here it is, guys. Oh man, look at that, guys. We got it. We got the new Traxxas Drag Slash. We are gonna unbox this thing, check out everything about it. I, guys, I'm, I'm so excited because I'm just now breaking into the, the drag racing world and we got we got the one that everybody, everybody's been waiting for, the Traxxas Drag Slash. Oh my God, that looks so good. All right, let me take this thing upstairs so we can get this thing unboxed. All right, guys, here it is. We're gonna take a look at the box panels first. Look at that thing. That blue actually looks pretty solid. So here is one of the fronts, or the front, and here's the top here, uh, Drag Slash. Oh man, it's a Slash LCG chassis. Look at that, adjustable wheelie bar. We'll look at all this stuff. Looks like there's two different tuning options here. You can adjust the wheelie bar there. Obviously the bearings, waterproof electronics. Oh look, extreme duty drive shafts. Those are new drive shafts. Adjustable steel camera links and tunable oil fill ultra shocks. Oh God, that looks so good. All right, so let's flip this over to the side here. There is the side panel there. Look, tracks this Bluetooth link enabled. It does not come with a Bluetooth wireless remote or Bluetooth wireless module, so. There's the other, I guess the other front. Check out the bottom here. Got the new heavy duty transmission, launch control, tracks of stability management, ultra wide Mickey Thompson tires, and weld racing wheels. Oh God, those weld racing wheels look so sick. Check out the color options we got here, guys. Oh man, you see the color that I got. Yes, I got the purple. I think, okay, so my favorite colors, I think are the purple. And then probably the white because I have white vehicles. And then the green baby blue black and then red though that's my ranking again that's just my thought okay one more panel then we will go to opening this up let me knock this down here oh look at that purple wow all right so check out the remote there press to set release to launch interesting so it looks like a different remote there's your tires there pro magnum pro series magnum transmission all right let's bust this thing open all right, here she is. We are gonna unbox it in this beautiful room of RC cars. Okay, this is it, guys. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's open this thing up. Oh man, so excited. Here we go. Ooh, look, the wheelie bar comes in there. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, that thing is freaking sick. All right, we got a lot of stuff in here actually. Interesting, let me, um, wow, this thing is super freaking clean. Take this off, the body clips off, so we get the plastic out. And then I will give you guys some close-up shots of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beast. Wow, that looks so good. All right, guys, check this thing out.
right, so before we dig deeper into the car, because wow, it looks so good, the TQI remote is different. This is not, this little piece right here, is not like a little switch, like on the TRX4 where you can switch it up and down. This is a button, so apparently the way you use that button is you hold the button down, and you give it the throttle you want, and when you let it go, it goes at that throttle, which, can't wait to try that, that's pretty freaking cool. In here, you have your standard shock collars, Looks like you have a speed pinion in here, extra body clips, you know me and extra body clips. And also, something you don't get in most cars, is you get your wheelie bar options. Let's take those out. So here are your wheelie bar options. Basically, you get two different size wheelie bar wheels. So it looks like the ones that come on the car are a little bit bigger than the ones that come in the package. Just a disclaimer, I know nothing about RC drag racing, so I am super new to this. This is a tuning option that's very important apparently, so that is pretty freaking cool. So I don't know which ones are better, but we're gonna try them both. Comes with your screws to actually mount the wheelie bar because the car did not come with the wheelie bar attached. Needless to say, it's way too long. It doesn't make any sense to make the box that long for this one, you can just attach it after you get the car. But super long wheelie bar, super cool, looks really sweet. I like to note they put these now in here. I think they've been doing this recently, but essentially what this is is make sure that it's, it's like a guide to mesh your gear right. So it comes with a high speed gear and then this little guide to make sure that your gear is mesh perfect, which is really, really nice because that has been kind of a pain point with some of the newer guys that don't know how to mesh gears. Um, it, that takes the guesswork out of it, which is pretty freaking cool. So, all right, let's dig into the car. Oh my goodness, guys. The first thing you will notice is how aesthetically pleasing this car is. It is so clean. Look at the moldings. These are moldings. This isn't painted on. These are actual moldings. Headlight molds. Look, you can actually see the headlight move. I believe. Yeah, the headlight is moving. Um, these are actual moldings, bumper moldings. Let's see what it looks like under it. Let's see what we got under here. Yeah, see, so those are all pieces. Those are actual body moldings. It makes it look so much more scale, so much cooler. I'm breathing hard, guys, I'm so freaking excited. But look at how sweet that looks. The weld racing wheels, you can actually see the weld racing there. Those are licenses. You know how I am with licenses, guys. I'm all about collecting cars with licenses. MTs, Mickey Thompson, ET fronts, super cool. Also your weld racing wheels in the back. Mickey Thompson's, oh my God, that looks so sweet. Look at the back, the black accents, the cool wing. Oh man, the body is just so freaking cool. Um, they really knocked it out of the park, this body. So now we're going to go under the body here. Boom. Right there, guys. I, I mean, I expected this. I thought it was going to be an LCG slash, which is basically what it is. However, it has the new updated pro transmission. That thing, it's different. It looks a lot beefier. We're going to find out how beefy it really is. The remote, obviously, that like I was saying about this, this is like a trans brake. So it's like a trans brake button. That is also a new cool feature that we have not seen on Traxxas cars before. Look at how wide those rear tires are. Those steam rollers, my God, those are wide. I can imagine you're gonna get a whole bunch of traction with those. Man, that's freaking clean. Notice that you got some extra bump stops there in the front. Man, that thing looks good. So another thing about this car is they updated the TSM, the stability management. You guys know off my previous videos how much that makes the driving experience cool. So essentially what they did with the TSM, because drag racing is all about how much you can keep it in a straight line, what they did with the TSM is they have TSM off on acceleration. That way that skill, the skill of making sure you got the throttle right is there. So it's off on acceleration. When you decelerate, it's back on. That way your car doesn't lose control on deceleration. I think that's gonna make it really cool from a racing aspect. Only because I was thinking before they released all this stuff and we knew about this, if everyone has TSM, everyone's gonna go right down the middle. What's the challenge in that? This way there is gonna be a skill, a skill to drag racing, which is gonna be that throttle control and making sure you launch your car without losing control. And when you decelerate, it's, it's stable. So super cool, super excited about that. I believe it's built into the receiver where when you're in that mode where it, it decelerates with st uh, stability management and does not have stability management on acceleration, that is like a blinky mode for your receiver. So when you're going to competitions or you're racing, you'll know if someone's in blinky mode because the receiver will blink. We will test all that really soon, but wow. 
That car looks so good. Let's go back here to the transmission again because this is really intriguing to me. They did up, this is the Pro Series transmission. The first thing I noticed is, look, now you have an aluminum uh, mount plate, which that's a big deal because I don't know if you remember on the old ones, depending on how much you tighten those screws, it will actually leave a divot in the, the gear case where you mount the motor. And it's hard to adjust, find adjustments from there when it keeps going in those grooves. So this transmission now has a metal one, which is super cool. All this stuff looks a lot beefier. Look at these drive shafts. These are drive shafts I've never seen before. These are updated ones. They look a lot beefier, obviously, than the old two-wheel drive ones. They look pretty freaking beefy. I am. I want to put aluminum ones on mine already, but we're going to, again, put these to the ringer first. We're going to run this thing as stock as we can before we just start getting smashed and we got to upgrade it. But major improvements with the transmission. Super freaking cool. We didn't do a shot under it, so here's the bottom of the chassis. Just like an LCG slash would look. That front bumper is the main glaring difference on this one. So that front bumper, it looks like it's made for a drag car. It's got a little foam in there. And then your transmission, obviously just a little bit different. But under the car, LCG slash. Which is a very capable platform, by the way. I've seen a lot of people race it in two wheel drives short course and do really well with it. So pretty freaking cool. All right, guys, we are going to put the wheelie bar on. I'm going to put a battery in there. Actually, I don't think I have a fully charged battery, but we're going to put a battery in there. Make sure everything's calibrated. See what it's like. I want to see if the receiver is in blinky mode. I don't know if I'm going to make a pass in this video, but you can believe that there will be many passes in the upcoming videos. Again, I am very, very, very new, new to drag racing, but this is a perfect, a perfect platform for me to get into drag racing with an RTR drag racing car from a company that stands behind their product i am super freaking excited guys is this is this for real is this what rc heaven is like the new bronco pulling the new drag car oh my god look at how sick that looks oh man guys i am geeking out big time over here with this <laughs> with this setup all right so we're not going to do a pass right now because i'm charging batteries but we will do the first pass in the very next video, possibly tomorrow, more than likely tomorrow. But my God, look at that. Looks so good. We are, oh man, we, we're, at least I am freaking out. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, especially because we're going to be doing passes really soon with that. We're doing some stuff with that. It's going to be a great time. Got a lot of good stuff coming. So turn on the notification bell, subscribe to my channel. Smash the like button, turn on those good subscribe to my channel, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.